Welcome back everybody and in this lesson I'm going to show you that I did the same thing with the with the robot um, so everything should be the same so as you can see we got our rectangle light over here same thing and we got our robot and the robot is just one simple texture this is uh wait a minute this select this one and yeah and as you can see the robot is just one simple texture if you can, if you can see it over here so and what I've done um the robot has a lot of problems that's why I did not um put it in there also because it's not done it's still in production and it has the UV maps are not uh, totally right and everything is uh, really messy but it works for me so um, I'm going to uh, that's why I use it and it's really cool in the shot but you can use your own robot and your or you can buy your own robot doesn't matter as you can see I just uh, plugged in the uh, sky dome uh, dome shape and that's it and I just re-rendered a, a master layer and an AO. The AO is for the body and the one is for the co contact on the ground. Alright, so back to Nuke. Here we go. So this is where we left off. And we are going to um, merge our smoke fire on top of the background of this. So what I'm going to do is create another scan line render sorry I'm going to clone it alt K my camera in here and my object oh sorry and my object scene goes in here and we should get our fire and smoke and yes got it and merge this back on top and here we go so from now on we are going to start with our compositing alright right away I'm going to uh, set this back to sRGB it's going to look very washed out but I'm going to plug in my color space node and I'm going to plug this in my sRGB so now it looks the same uh, we don't have our light wrap, so we're going to take this one. And our background is over here, and our foreground is over here, and we're just going to merge it together with a plus. So, this looks horrible. <laughs> so, we're going back, and as you can see, this is way too much and it's destroying all of our all of our information so what are we going to do? we're going to bump it down just like this so more yeah, yeah and now we got it so now we got a little bit better integrated to the shot all right so what i'm going to do right now is i am going to import my CG robot. First of all, I'm going to import my ambient occlusion, which is over here, and we are working in um, 720p. So I'm going to plug in a reformat node, and now we are working in where is 720p? Here we go. So we got our AO over here and we're going to use this as a mask so we can just um, color correct it. But what I like to do with this, I'm just going to uh, plug in a shovel because it has no elf it has an elf channel but this is not the elf channel we want to use. It. So I'm going to plug this into my elf channel and I'm going to invert it. So now this looks like an ordinary this looks like an ordinary um, M occlusion so what I'm going to do I'm going to my I'm going to plug in a 
the RAID node, I'm going to plug in my gain to something like 7. So we have something like this. And I'm going to plug in a multiply node, a uh, merge, and I'm going to set my operation to multiply. So now this should be on the ground. This is where the robot is going to stand. And I'm also going to uh, plug in a defocus node. And it's, I love to do that, it's much better. So what I'm going to do right now is we got our contact on the ground. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to I am going to import my CG robot. Here we go. Got our nice CG robot with an animation. And I'm going to merge that over. So we got something like this. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to um, take my uh, plug in a grade node and set my multiply to something like uh, 0.5, not 9.5, and I'm going to set my gamma to something like 0.7. And I'll multiply a little bit more down, like something like 0.8, something like this, yeah. And I'm going to work on my gain. I'm going to set my gain to something like uh, 1.3, 0, 0.3, uh, and my blue channel to something like 9.5. I hope you guys can see a little bit of a thing I did. So it looks better integrated. All right. And what I'm also going to do is going to plug in a defocus node and set it to 0.2. And that takes the edge off a little bit more, makes it makes it look real. Because if you look at this, you can count, you get three pixels. And over here, you got three pixels. So looks nice. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to uh, plug in an edge blur. People don't like to use edge blur on CG elements, but um, for this one it helps. I'll set it to 1. You won't see a lot of difference, but I do. Because I got this, those crazy eyes and I see everything. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to just uh, plug in a simple gray node. And I'm going to um, set this to uh, very low, something like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and also something like 0 0.1. This is just really fast. So we got some grain going on. Also, the size I'm going to make it really small, something like uh, 0 0.7. This one to 0 0.6. All right. So it already looks doesn't look real yet, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to um, I have my ambient occlusion of the body, so that's what I'm going to plug in. And I'm doing, I'm going to do the same thing I did over here. I'm going to shovel it. And I'm going to defocus it. I'm just duplicating and I'm going to invert it. And I'm also going to plug in a grade in between and put it to something like uh, 2.15. Alright, so now we've got something like this. And then I'm going to put in a merge and set it to multiply. Well, as you can see, we got something nice going on over here. 
All right. I'm pretty happy. And what I'm going to do also is I'm going to make this uh, a little bit better because it's really black and we don't want that. It's really dark. So I'm going to set my multiply to something like 0.2. Something like this. And now it looks already better. You, got, you can see it has a nice... You can see it has a nice, uh, how do you say that, uh, contact to the ground. Alright, now we're going to put our famous light wrap. And we're going to plug our B to, um, sorry, I'm sorry. We're going to plug our B into our reformat, in our A, to our robot. And that's the one over here. And then we're going to generate our light wrap only and we're going to do something like this alright gonna plug A over B and set it to plus so now we should have our fire eating in our robot nicely but it's way too much that so we're gonna bump it down a whole lot do something like this that's still a lot yeah something like this it looks much better all right cool so what I'm going to do right now is I am going to see if everything looks fine yeah we got our blacks going on everything looks fine the fire is behaving nicely Yeah, we've got our hot spots and the fire. This looks nicely, and yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with this. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to um, create with this uh, with this mask we got over here. I'm going to copy it and set it into my. I'm going to set it into my uh, my my B pipe, and I'm going to make a new one, and we're going to call this contact ground. Yes, I want to create a new layer, and what we can do now is really fun. So we can go to our color correct, and we can just go to our ranges and go to our mask and contact ground, and we can just gamma up and down. See that? It's pretty, it's pretty cool, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to put another defocus node, it's one over here, and we're going to put our our thingy over here and now we can just play with it we can just gamma down and everything we can do whatever we want with it and I'm going to make another one contact ground gamma down now I'm going to play on defocus a little bit more Something like this. Now it looks better on the ground. So that's looking cool. So we got our robot standing here finally. And as you can see we got our we got our flag flying over and doing crazy stuff over the robot and I got a roto for that. I'm going to load it in right now. And here we go. I have to look, plug this in my. I have to plug this in my. Let me see this one. So now we only should have our. Yep. Yeah. And now we can just merge this over. We got our so and then we got our nice flaggy thing. Uh, we have to put a, a color space node because it's not in the right space. So same thing, put it to sRGB. And here we go. All right. So we are almost done. 
and we're going to uh, just do a quick a quick thing what I love to do with these kind of shots you can make your own mood whatever you want so what I usually do is I'm going to create a keyer and I'm going to go to my alpha channel and I'm going to do something like this so we got something like this over here it gets all the bright spots and I'm going to do something like my pre -malt and plug in a glow so now we got this and I'm going to do now merge over and set my operation set my operation to plus so as you can see we got really our sky is blowing out you usually have this kind of stuff in these in these looks epic looks but we're going to bump it down uh, a little bit something like 0.6 so we got so now he has a hotspot over here so we need that and as you can see now it really works with, with his integration of the shot so that's, that's looking nice I'm going to do a simple color correction going to saturation to something like 75 just for uh, the final look of it going to play with my uh, my shadows put my uh, my red to something like 0.8 and my blue to 17 nice got those blue shadows going on over here see that it's looking nice and same thing with my with my gain so 0.9 and my blue to something like 0 0.05 all right same thing with my midtones I yeah usually you can play with these colors but I love to to type my my numbers in and let me see my blue to something like uh, 0 0.02 alright and now we got go into our highlights and I put this up something like 0.4 and my blue to 0 0.5 alright And of course, I'm going to plug in a color lookup for our contrast. Lot y'all, you all know the S shape, famous S shape. So here we go. So we got a nice mood going over here. We got it from this. It's not an, a, a whole lot of mm, color correction, but I love to make my shadows blue. And of course, we're gonna plug in a glow node. Uh, normally, people don't like to use the glow node, but it's working for me, so <laughs> this is true. Yeah, that's why I use it. Put my tolerance in something like 0.7, my brightness, and my size up a lot so now we got our glowing effect going on top of our robot this is what you usually see in in real life like if something is bright and something is walking in front of it in the foreground it will eat it will glow on top of it that's why it really works with integration of it so Here we go, so now we got our nice robot standing there. It's loading a lot, we got a lot of them going on. And from that simple, boring shot, let's load it up. From this simple, boring shot, 
we got something epic going on like this. You, we did a lot. We did smoke. We did a whole sky replacement. We did uh, flying jets. We did mountains. A whole lot of stuff. So, and it was really nice. I hope you all you all learned from me, and I really love to um, to give my knowledge back to the community. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And I hope you'll make some epic stuff in the f in the near future. All right, I'm signing off. See you later.